Hey guys, Tech here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPhone 14 Pro or any of the new iPhone 14 series lineup. Now, this process is going to be really straight and simple for you to do. So, first thing first, let's go ahead and take our phone out. As you can see here, the iPhone 14 Pro here. This is the purple or the deep purple edition one in the pamphlet here you'll see a pamphlet and then the charge cable you need to have a charge block to charge your phone this is the first time you're going to be doing the phone make sure your phone again it's charged or phone here for the very first time we're turning it on we're going to go ahead and take that off and turn it on so how do you turn on the iphone simply hold this big side button on your right hand side that will allow you to turn on your iphone when you want to press and hold until you see the apple logo and that is turning on your iPhone 14 Pro. Once it turns on, again, it takes about five to 10 seconds when you initially turn it on. Again, be a little patient with it. And as you can see, it flashed Apple twice and we have the hello screen and we're ready to set up. So what you'll do is swipe up. So to get to the screen, you'll swipe up just like this and that's how you start getting access to the menu. You wanna first select your language. So we'll select English. You wanna select the region you're in. Of course, by default, you should recognize the region. We're just selecting our country here. And then we'll hit that setup manually. And the very first thing you, when you do this is that you wanna make sure you connect it to a good Wi-Fi connection. You could do it without Wi-Fi or iTunes. Usually Wi-Fi is the best way to do it. So we wanna select our network here and then we'll put the password for that network we selected. So. I'll go ahead and put our password in. Hopefully it's correct. And once you have done that, it will spin here. As you can see here, it's spinning just like that. And it will go over to this menu here. Once it gets through that menu here, we're gonna wait. Now this just sends information about the phone to Apple to make sure the phone is ready to use. So as you can see, it's still going through. So again, you have to be a little bit patient when this does happen. So don't worry if it's not working right away. As you can see now, you'll get to this data option. Once you get to this data option, you'll get hit that continue here. Face ID, so how does this work? Basically, you will scan your face. Once you hit that continue, it will tell you to rotate your face and look at the camera different ways so you can set up face ID. You can choose not to set it up too, so again, but you'll need to have that. So if you have face ID enabled if, to do things like unlock, use Apple Pay and much more. Again, the best way to go forward. So you'll hit that continue option. We'll show you in a second. If you hit that continue option, You'll have the ability to set up your face just like by looking at it and it'll tell you to do things. You can always set up later in settings as well. Next thing is password. Again, you have a couple options when it comes to password. If you kill option, you could do four digit by there's a six digit other one and you wanna make a super, uh, you know, simple, but don't make it too simple that it's easily guessable. So we'll just put a random one here. If you forgot the password, you will have to reset your completely restore your phone and delete it. So make sure you don't forget that password. Once you have done that, you want to, now if you have used iPhone before or are moving to this phone, you can back, if you have a backup from iCloud, you can restore your uh, apps and data from there. You can also, if you have a backup from your PC, you can get that or you can even transfer stuff over directly by holding your phone next to it. If you have existing phone, you can simply hold it next to it and you could do a, side by side restoration by doing that or you can move from android as well there's an app that lets you do that or simply not do any transfer if you're starting very fresh or just want this phone to be uh, not have anything from your previous icloud account so we'll just do that just for simplicity next thing is apple id so now you have two things here if you're a very first time user have never used apple id it's a free account that you have to create or if you're an existing user, you can sign into an existing one. So let's say if you're a new user, you'll click this option and then you'll go ahead and create new, create a second option where it says create a free Apple ID. You'll click on that and it'll walk you through the steps like your name, birthday and such. Again, it's free to create, so you don't have to pay for it. 
you'll need to either enter a payment option or select none once you go through it. But if you're an existing user and then want to use your app ID but didn't back restore from backup, you'll need to sign in here. So we'll go ahead and sign in with our account here that we have for the demo purposes. Put that next option and then you will enter a password here. Now let's go ahead and enter the password. And once you enter a password, you'll hit next. Now, like you said, if you're using it with other devices, it will send a code to that device that you have or the other device or a text message if you have it set up with the phone. So we'll send a text over. Again, this is going to be different for everyone. So whatever we put in here won't really matter to you because you'll get a new code. Everyone gets a new code when they sign in. Now, this code you don't have to remember because each time you get a different code. So don't even look at this because it doesn't really matter for you if you're looking at it or not because this code is only specific, randomly generated for your account. We'll hit agree here and then it will again take a few minutes to set up things. Apple ID is required to do pretty much anything from downloading apps to using iMessages, FaceTime to making uh, your full experience on the iPhone. As you can see here, it's a, if you're signed into other account, it, another security thing it does requires that you enter the passcode. So whatever the passcode on the other device you use, for example, this one, we used the iPhone 12 Pro or previous model with this account. It's asking you what the passcode of that device is so you can sign into that account. So we're just going to enter the passcode of that device. Again, that one shouldn't matter for you. This is just for our, again, purposes. Again, your Apple ID might not even have a, another passcode saved to it. Again, this is something Apple does. It's simply just another form of security that is so that someone doesn't use your Apple ID that isn't supposed to. And as you can see here, you can make this a new phone. You'll get this message where you can add data or you don't need to. You can just go ahead and do all of that. Hit that continue option, as you can see here, now, this is an important part when it comes to setting a phone service. So with the new iPhone 14 lineup, there is no more SIM card. So in the past, there used to be a SIM card here, which you could take from a previous phone and insert it. So I'll just show you an example on the 13 Pro, there was that SIM card. But on the 14 Pro, there is no SIM card. You have to use what's known as eSIM. eSIM is basically seamless phone car phone service, which is activated through your carrier. So most carriers support eSIM. You have to get a QR code from them, which you can use, or you can transfer it if you have a phone nearby. So your old phone, if you hold it near it, it will recognize the phone and start doing the transfer of your cellular data. So if you click on that, it will look for the phone nearby. Or if you have a QR code from your carrier, which your carrier can give, you can contact your carrier for it. You can get that so you can activate phone service. Remember, without phone service, you won't be able to make calls, text, or even use your data outside of your Wi-Fi. So make sure you do that step after, or you can come back later to do it again. But eSIM, it's really important. You don't want to skip that. We just have to skip it because we don't have an eSIM right now. And then Apple Pay, you want to set it up if you're going to be using Apple Pay. It's just a way to uh, purchase stuff. You can always come back in the wallet later. iCloud Keychain, if you want to use to save your information and password, you can do that or you can do set up later. Siri, what will happen is, Siri is voice assistant for the iPhone. So if you don't have, uh, if you haven't used Apple ID, basically you're gonna pretty much say a couple commands. It's the way to activate Siri is gonna be by pressing the side button just like that. It'll activate Siri once you set it up. And then here it tells you things about improving Siri. You can hit not now. Things, things around emergency SOS. This is a new feature that is introduced to the iPhone 14 lineup for emergency satellite calling that will be available soon and then crash detection on your iPhone if you're in a car. Hit that and then finally get to welcome to iPhone and as you can see here, we have set it up. Now if you haven't set up eSIM and came back, you can click over here to set it up or you can come back to cellular here and set it up this way as well if you haven't set it up. But once you're signed in, you should see yourself signed in and you're pretty much good to go. And now you can go to App Store, go ahead and download apps that you want to do by simply going ahead here, doing the search option, search for your favorite apps. You should now be all set to use your iPhone 14 
Pro or in the iPhone 14 lineup you have. So hopefully this video was helpful and you guys found something useful here. If so, make sure that like and subscribe button for future videos, tips and tricks on the iPhone 14 lineup that we'll be uploading pretty soon. So thanks for watching guys. See you guys and next time.